Hey everyone, welcome to Geek24 YouTube channel. Today, we're building a BMI calculator using React.js. If you're not familiar with BMI, it stands for Body Mass Index. It's a simple calculation that helps determine whether your weight is in a healthy range based on your height. We use BMI to assess whether someone is underweight, normal weight, overweight, or obese. Knowing your BMI can give you insights into potential health risks related to weight. The formula is straightforward. BMI equals weight in kilograms divided by height in meters squared. So let's get started with building the project. We will first build a React app using Vite. You should have Node.js installed on your system. That's the only prerequisite. On the desktop, I am creating a folder. Let's name it anything like React. Then open a terminal in this folder. If you're on Windows, open the command prompt. Type npm create vite at latest and hit enter. Give the project a name, say BMI calculator. Select React, then JavaScript and hit enter. Now change the directory using the cd command and run npm install or npmi to install the initial dependencies. Once everything is done, open this project in your favorite text editor. I'm using VS Code. Now, I will create a new terminal in VS Code and type npm run dev. This will start the app on port 5173. Next, I want to delete all the existing boilerplate CSS and JSX to start with a fresh blank canvas. First, delete everything from app.css. Then, remove all the code inside the return statement of app.jsx, remove the logos, and remove the use state hook. Clear everything from index.css as well. Now, we are ready to start. Let's create a new component named bmicalculator.jsx and using the RFCE snippet to create a functional component. Import this component into the app file. We also need a CSS file. So let's make one inside the source folder and name it bmicalculator.css. Import this CSS file into the bmicalculator.jsx component. Now, clear everything from here and give the main div a class name of bmi-card. Add an h2 tag to give the heading bmicalculator. Then, create a div with a class name of input group. Inside this div, add a label for weight in kilograms. Add an input, give it a type of number, and set the value as weight, which will be a state variable that we will create soon. Add an onChange handler to set the value of weight using the setWeightSetter function. Add a placeholder. We will repeat the same code to make another input group div for height. The input type will be number, the value will be height, which is another state variable that we will create soon. Add an onChange handler to set the height and also add a placeholder. Next, we'll add a button at the end to calculate the BMI. Give this button a class name of btn-calculator. Add an onClick event and call the calculate BMI function. At the end, after the button, we will render the result conditionally. Within a pair of curly brackets, we'll check if the BMI state variable exists using the and and short circuit operator. If it does, it will return a piece of JSX wrapped in parentheses. Let's add a div with the class name result. Inside this div, I'll add an h3 tag to display the BMI result and the BMI variable which we will create soon. After this, we'll also add the category within an h4 tag. We'll create a category state variable as well, so don't worry about that. With this, we are done with the JSX part. Now let's create the variables and functions to implement the actual business logic. All right, now we will make the state variables. First, let's create height and set height using React's use state hook. In the recent versions of React, we don't need to use react.useState anymore. Just auto-import useState at the top. 
create weight and set weight as well, and initialize both variables with an empty string. Then, create a BMI state variable and initialize it with null. Lastly, create a category state to hold the category based on the calculated BMI. Now, we will create the calculate BMI function. First, check if height and weight exist, only then enter the block. To calculate BMI, we need to convert the height into meters. In our case, we can simply divide the height by 100 to convert it from centimeters to meters. Finally, BMI is equal to weight divided by height in meters squared. Use to fixed so the number is rounded to two decimal places. Then set the BMI. Now we will categorize the user based on the value of the BMI we calculated. If BMI is less than 18.5, set the category to underweight. Else if BMI is greater than or equal to 18.5 and less than or equal to 24.9, set the category to normal weight. Else if BMI is greater than or equal to 25 and less than or equal to 29.9, set the category to overweight. Otherwise, set the category to obese. Our application is ready to be tested. Of course, it might not look good right now, but let's first see if everything works. Let's give it a weight of 70 kilograms and a height of 171 centimeters, then click on Calculate. The BMI should be 2394, and a person with this height and weight falls under the normal weight category. That's great. Our application is working fine. Now that our application is working fine, the next step is to make it look good with some CSS. However, due to time constraints, we won't be explaining the entire CSS styling in this video. Instead, here is the entire CSS code you would use to style the application. If you want to write it along with me, feel free to do so. Otherwise, you can directly copy the CSS from the GitHub repository linked in the description box.
Thank you for watching, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to check out the GitHub repo for the CSS code and subscribe for more content.